Blog Talk Radio. Yo, yo, what's banging, man? It's your boy Nutso. Mr. Get With It and Get Your Face Knitted. Reppin' that Q Burrow, nigga. Flushing Queens, man. I'm out here with my motherfucking family. You already know what it is when you hear that. Who hey? Yeah, nigga. Screwball Radio with Black Poet and King Eric. Comment, what up? This is what we do, man. Nutso, Queen. Was brangin', nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Life Liggy Long. Live from the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. So keeping the vibes right. You know what I'm saying? We got Screwball Radio with your man King Eric, Black Poet. Shout out my man Comet. You know how we do. You know what I mean? Screwball Radio. Get in tune, baby. We out here. Let's go. Screwball. Yeah, what up, man? It's your boy Common, man, man, Screwball Capo, and I'm here on Screwball Radio with my brother Black Poet and King Eric. You know what it is? Escape the drippiest of Screwball. I'm here with the wildest and the grimiest, King Eric and Black Poet at Screwball Radio. Oh, yeah. Shout out my big bros for life. Sean Nitty, Kyron, Common, Bronchet. Rest easy, KL Hostel. Who is What's hood good with y'all? This your big homie, prodigy hood from the South Central Cartel. I'm tapping in with the homies, Black Boy and Eric Mossberg. It's Rubal Radio. Bang that. What's up? This is Prince Powell Rule, a.k.a. Marcano from The Leftovers. And you're listening to Screwball Radio with my man Black Poet, King Eric. Who <laughs> has... Yeah. What it is, what it is, y'all. This your player partner, the legendary cocaine. And look, I want to give big ups to my East Coast family. Shout out to Screwball Radio, you dig? Man, big ups to Common, Black, Poet, and my nephew, Eric Mossberg. That's what it is, Screwball Radio, Buddy Boy, the legendary cocaine. We on that monkey with a funky campaign, you heard? Man, keep it wiggling. Who and who and who and? Screwball Radio live from the Matrix. Black Poet on the check in. Got my nigga King Eric with the fucking news. My nigga Kami with the fucking sports. And we here to give y'all a good fucking time on this Saturday night. What up? What up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We here. What's well, good, y'all, man? Had a long week. Had a long week, long week, fellas, man. What's going on out there, E? Man, before before I got on the air, I wanted to share some, actually some good news for hip-hop. They passed a law in, uh, in the California Senate saying that it will protect artists from having their lyrics being used against them in the court of law. Because they seen what was going on with Young Thug and his crew, so... State of California is, you know, fighting to protect the the, uh, the rights of the artists. They, that that way, they can't use their lyrics against them. Yeah, that's California, though. That doesn't mean that Atlanta is gonna is gonna do that. You know. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. But what they need to do is go at these motherfucking streaming sites. <laughs> that's what we need them to do is go. Investigate these motherfucking streaming sites and make shit fucking fair for the artists out there. You know, that's what I want to see them do. But that's a plus, though. You know, that's good. They can't use niggas' lyrics in, in Cali, at least. But uh, yeah, I know Jay Z. I know Jay Z was fighting for that in New York too. I know he was fighting for that. Niggas just need to stop telling on themselves. That's that's the bottom line. Like, you know, what I'm saying there's one one. Keeping it real and and telling yourself it's two different things, homie. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? And these guys these days is mentioning shit that currently being investigated and putting niggas' names in there and places and you can't be doing that, homie. You know how the uh, the, the movies to start names have been changed to 
protect the innocent. Like, you got to change up shit. You can't be like me and whoa, 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 with God ain't doing this, that, and the other. And there's really a God named such and such. <laughs> and y'all really yeah, can't do is, this. They, you crazy. They're really saying, like, hey, Timmy was just dead. Timmy shot at this guy. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, and he threw the gun in the bush right next to the where the body was. And then he ran off and went to Sandra's house and... And the D's are Not sitting taking... back like, oh, yeah, we found the gun in the bushes. Oh, yeah, this girl in yeah. Sandra. Let's go see. They put yeah, we all... picked him up at Sandra's house. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, yo? Come on, man. You you you, you got to be more creative than that, homie. Like, you keeping it real, but you keeping it too real. And they yeah. be talking about how they be smoking the ops and you know, we smoking on this and smoking on that. Like, disrespecting to the dead niggas, like, Crazy man, this they wave right here. This is crazy. They 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 new wave. It's crazy. Yeah, super disrespectful all the way, all across the board. <laughs> Word is ball. Yeah, they, like I wanted yeah, to make the screwball like, strain. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to figure out how to make the screwball strain. I'm like, nah. They got me feeling some way about it. Like, nah, I ain't gonna make the screwball strain. Nigga talking about we smoking on that school ball. Like, you know, my man really got smoked, you know? Nah, nah. So they take the whole fun out of that. To me, you know, I was going to try to get a strain popping. Yeah, that's like, uh, I was, you know, I was, you know, looking at news and like some artist was killed and the mother went to go visit the son at the gravesite and then they killed her there. They killed the moms? Damn. Yep. 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 Oh man, this is out of order. She went to go visit she went to go visit her son's site and Damn. Popped up there and killed her. Super Damn. crazy. That's crazy. I didn't hear that one. Yeah, these are super malicious out here. That's like, what good is that, man? Like, uh, homie ain't here no more. He's already dead. So who you hurting? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, killing his mom? Like, he's not going to feel yeah. it. He's dead already. Like, unless, I don't know, man. That's crazy. Unless she was with the shit from the street. You know, some moms, people, moms be with shit. Young mothers, you know. Got a lot of young mothers. Mothers ain't the same age as how we grew up. You know what I'm saying? You got these young mothers. And who knows? They probably were scared of her. Like, she gonna send me. But damn, that's the case. I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there. Just like today, you know, I'm, some some artists out there was in Beverly Hills. And uh, they ambushed him in his truck. And they killed his boy, like, I just saw that. I just saw that on the news. What state it's, that was it's, in, It's Quando uh, Rondo. It's the, it was the guy that uh, killed King Von yeah, in 2020. Nah, King Von, he didn't kill King Von. His man killed King Von. Damn, man, that's too much bullshit. So it's really his, man killed, his man killed King Vaughn. It wasn't him that was shooting. He wasn't shooting. I don't understand, man. Yeah. Niggas get the bag, and they still want to be gangsters. Like that's the whole goal is make money and stop doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you know. I know this guy, he be talking a lot. You know, the artist that that was involved in whatever the other day or yesterday. I know he be talking a lot. So, you know, you got people that's out to get him that aren't rappers. You know, they're not rappers, you know? Oh, the homie, that dude that be fucking talking about everybody? The guy that just uh, got ambushed. The guy that just got ambushed. You know, he's been talking about King Vaughn. He's been talking about, like, a lot of, you know, a lot of shit he be talking about. 
And um, who's you that know. other kid, man? That going around disrespecting everybody. Everybody want to put hands on this guy. He's he piled up. Oh, he's not. He's, he's an old guy. That guy, Charleston White. Yeah, he's out of order. He provoking these little yeah, he, niggas to push his wig back. Yeah, I think he, he got, got all yeah. kinds of niggas after him. He, he got old niggas, young niggas. Everybody want to see that guy. But don't let him survive because he'll sue your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he he called the cops on one rapper and he got him locked up in Atlanta after a dude put the no fly zone out on him. He called the police on him. You kidding me? He fucking he pepper sprayed Soldier Boy and Soldier Boy Girl or some shit like that. <laughs> some funny shit. How he be getting around these motherfuckers? Like he must live around around an ATL some fucking man. Nah, he's from Texas. He just be everywhere. Provoking motherfuckers. He just be everywhere again, under everybody's skin, not caring. Talking about gangs that you know people done raised their kids and lost their boys, and he be talking shit about them. Now you ain't gotta be yeah, every day. shit. You can be anti-game, but you ain't got to be shitting on them and talking all shit to them and making them niggas come hunt for your ass because it's going to get real, homie. As soon as you feel like, all right, all right I'm going to do something else, like, right, I'm going to stop this. It's still on for you. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. Make you do yeah. You got to keep doing that. Yeah, it ain't never going to stop. Yeah, he can't stop that now and be like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm just going to make beats or... I'm a rap or, or I'm going to be a plumber or whatever shit, he, other thing, anything else he try to do. No, you're going to have to do this shit all the time. It's be 24-7, nigga. Yeah, he's a funny guy, though. He be, you know, he be I watch the interview. On, he be propping up a lot of those guns, too, on the, on the, on the YouTube live and stuff. He be, I was oh, like, yeah, damn, with the Mambo shit. Yeah, he be having a Duke that has a flag behind him and shit. Oh, man, he just trolling niggas, man. <laughs> he trolling his own people. He's funny, though, because, like, uh, I've seen an interview where he was saying that, you know, he'll get a job just to sue him. He'll get a job and, and you know, you say something like, Sexual, son calls him, or or anything like that, some flagrant. He'll sue. He'll sue the company. Like he got fifty thousand from one company doing that. Oh man, he's one of those guys. Yep. Yep. Run around looking for lawsuits. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah, hey, that's, that's 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 people hustle too. Suing people, that's a hustle, but damn. No yeah, care, he ain't got no care. Somebody gonna sue his ass. He ain't got no care for not for nobody. He, he telling, he telling on everybody. But he provoking niggas though. Like yo, you 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 rattle in the cage, and when the niggas attack, you gonna want to tell? What? Yeah, he don't care though. He don't care. He telling, he telling, and he's suing you. He telling, and he's suing. What else going on out there, E? Well, at least I said. It also says something here, and this is very important news that the CDC has admitted to making mistakes about confusion and misinformation about how they handle the coronavirus and monkeypox, and they're trying to make some changes. In regards to their staff, in regards to you know conveying their message to get people on board for any future possible epidemics and things of that caliber. I mean, we know yeah, they fuck that. that shit up anyway, man. Yeah, they yeah. tell one nigga, you know, the mask now, no mask now. Oh, this shot, this shot, that shot. It was all Not over even the place. that. 
not, not even that, you know, they 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 were told that uh, COVID is, you know, COVID is is over there, and it's coming your way, and they could have shut the airports down and all that shit, and before you know it, that shit is full blown over here. Same thing with monkeypox. They 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 were told, uh, you know, monkeypox was over there first, and then it started popping up over here, you know. That, that monkey pox is scary, up. kid. That shit ain't just pop up to Dogs, they giving this shit to animals can get it. Motherfuckers getting it off of money. It sticks around a long time and, and what, on the surface of wherever it's at. Well, you, you know, know, that's like, uh, that's like if you got a sweaty hand and you touch that dollar bill. You know, that shit's going to stick on there. That shit's going to be on there. That was just like COVID. Remember COVID? We watched some videos and people were licking the, 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 the buttons of the elevator. and Fuck, it's come back, yeah. And going crazy. That's, you know, it's, it's, it's body fluid. Body fluid is easily transferred. I might could give you a massage with monkey pox and now you've got monkey pox. Yeah, you can't crazy. do nothing, I seen, I seen a guy in the gym. And somebody was recording him, and he had all that shit all on him. It looked like he had the monkey pox, and he up in the gym. Oh, what about the dude who went to McDonald's? He got the monkey pox. He go through the drive through ordering shit, passing money and all this shit. Damn. Niggas is crazy, man. Like, come on, man. You got this shit. Stay your ass away. Yeah, get Uber and Eats, I'm man. Have him deliver that shit. Stay your ass Yeah, you hungry? Get that door dash, man. Just stay home, man. They drop that shit right in front of your door, man. You know, you get that shit, man. You know, they say it's only gay men getting it, but nah. Everybody can get that shit. That shit is telling on yeah. niggas. Yeah, anybody can do it. Monkey pox niggas are looking at you different now, like, nah, done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't looking at you the same way you get monkey pox. Niggas is like, hold on, that's a suspect now. Yeah, but like, you know how me and you always talk, you know, that shit, you know, initially is contracted through, you know, through foul, foulness, you know? And then <laughs> foul mock the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Foul mock go and start giving people hugs and kissing them on the cheek after you done been in, you know, doing flagrant shit, you know? That's why people don't want people touching their babies, kissing their babies, even back in the day before all this shit. People you see a baby, want to pick them up, oh, you kiss it and all that shit. Fuck no. Nah. Especially these days. Hell no. These days, yo... I'm good with yo. What up? Give a, give us a head nod. You ain't gotta come that close to me. You do not have to be that close. People used to be with kids like, oh, let me see it. Oh, let me hold it. Oh, all that yeah, shit. Pinch their cheek and all that shit. Nah, I slap you. You touch my son. Fuck <laughs> up out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, listen here, man. Get the you're six feet, man. Six feet. He could see you and you could see him. Six feet. You got to be super disrespectful, man. Even, you know, it might be an old person that want to... I don't care. Do you know? Old, young. Yo, listen, old lady. Yo, step step the fuck back. <laughs> 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 you know? No, I just want to touch you. Nah, nah. I'm, I'm going to touch you with this, you know, I'll give you a black <laughs> eye. No. <laughs> <laughs> step away. Step away. Nah, we don't want to... These days you can't do yeah. none of that. Like you walk with your little man down the block, you know, like you might see somebody, hey, don't make me five, all that shit, none of that. Shit, these days these kids might be like, hell fucking no. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. These little fucking bastards? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> these little bastards? No, you might got the monkey general. pox. You know, they're going to tell you straight up. You got the monkey pox. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be like, you, got, you might have monkey pox or you might have corona. Get up out of here. <laughs> stranger danger. Yeah, str- stranger danger. 
Stranger <laughs> danger. <laughs> yeah, these kids don't give a fuck these days. They gonna tell you what, what the truth. They don't care. They don't care these kids, man. Because today they Wait. do not care. But niggas ain't even really paying attention to this shit, man. Until this shit is gonna be everywhere. When everybody got fucking monkey box pocket, yo. I'm just gonna wrap up in some bubble wrap, my nigga. I'm just gonna wrap myself up <laughs> in some saran wrap. <laughs> Word, cause this shit is like COVID. You can't tell what niggas had it unless they were sick, laid up. This shit is telling on niggas. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? That, yeah, you had a guy like almost lose his nose cause of that shit. Yeah, you saw that sucks. shit I sent you, God. Yeah, yeah. People like damn near losing their like they nose just falling off cause of that shit. Tell you man, that's the, right, man. Loof. that's the zombie flu, man. I'm alright, man. You just keep your ass over there, and I'll keep my ass over here. And no more handshakes, and no, no, no cool love where you hug each other like, "Hold up, my nigga." Like, yeah, there's none of that. I don't understand what's up with them hookah bars. How them hookah bars are still making money? Niggas is back into them hookah bars, hard body. They ain't caring. They crazy. They care. No way, crazy. You, you can't pay me to go to no hookah bar and go in there and smoke Hell one no. of those things. <laughs> Fuck out of here. And let a, and let alone be passing that shit to each other. Like, hey, you smoking out of that? Yeah, let me throw some stuff in there. Uh, now we smoking from the same pipe? Nah, kid. Got a thousand niggas done smoked off already before you. Yeah, I'll pass on that shit. I don't know how they clean them shits, but. I don't trust it. I'm, I'm sure they they sanitize and all that, but I ain't with it. It's the concept alone of it, especially with all this shit yeah, out here now. You now back in the day, fuck that. That shit ain't no weed in there anyway. I'm just saying, back in the day, you'd be with your boy and you'll bust you down on that bogey. And these days, you ain't getting bust down on no bogey. I don't even want your bust down. Fuck that shit. You, you give oh, me no. Ball, Thirsty niggas still want to bust down. <laughs> nah. Thirsty bum-ass niggas still want to bust down, man. Nah. I'm, I don't give a fuck if that fucking shit is soggy. <laughs> I had a homeboy that oh, used to do this shit. He used to hate when motherfuckers ask him for a bust down. Know what he do? He would fucking bite the fucking... The end of it, we bite that shit and leave it all soggy and give it to a nigga. Ah, uh, <laughs> damn. And nigga, and nigga's still fucking smoking it. Like, damn, they complaining, but they smoking it. Like, damn, man, why you do that? Yeah, I ripped that shit off like a camel. I was smoking camel. <laughs> My nigga used to always do that shit when somebody asked for half of the left of his cigarette. He'll bite that shit and sog up the fucking tip. Uh. <laughs> and motherfuckers still smoking it, y'all. Like, come on, man. It ain't that bad, man. It can't be that bad, my nigga. Yeah, that's or like... Mm-hmm. Public pools or none of that shit. Like you said, the masseuses, getting massages, anything with body, bodily contact, nigga. Yeah, if your body ain't dry and you all sweaty and, and clammy, kid, you you passing that shit along. Yeah, I'm man, good. like, you don't have to start wearing gloves like how niggas are wearing masks. It's going to be a glove mandate. <laughs> I mean, that's how coronavirus was. When corona first hit, that's how people was walking around, with the gloves, with the mask. You know, Hell yeah, be on had the- on Niggas had on welders mask out there, like, <laughs> like what the fuck is that supposed to do? Niggas got on you know, welders mask. That shit could live, that shit could live on, on cardboard for this long. It could live on on this for this long. It could live on the doorknob for this long. But people was like, you know what? I'm gonna just wear gloves, and then boom, they would sanitize the glove. But I don't know how much that worked, but you know, definitely. Uh, Last three years ain't been safe for nobody. It's like the Twilight Zone. And you know what? It's, open, it's also opened up a lot of doors for 
different laws have changed and stuff of that caliber. Like I was reading something yesterday about uh, Two Chains and Killer Mike. They were speaking out against um, the leaders in Atlanta, but they passed the newest a newest, a newest law, club law, and it's making it hard for black club owners. So basically, they're accusing Atlanta of trying to be pretty much gentrify black people out. And they're using unfair laws to get, run these club owners out. Cause they're saying they're claiming they're claiming that it's because of uh, violence, but yet they're not doing anything to the malls because the mall actually had a shooting at Lenox Mall. I mean, there's always things going down in the Lenox Mall. I mean, hip hop no. shows always. It's like a eighty percent chance. 60% chance something's going to go down depending on who's performing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Like back in the days, when Eric B. and Rock Kim did a show, you would get niggas that don't go to no shows ever, nothing, no kind of hip-hop events. Them niggas is coming to this, though. <laughs> the grimiest niggas is coming out to see Eric B. and Rock Kim. So you know that show sure, at the end of that shit, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it might be a prowl. Cause they brought out the hood for real. I mean, niggas that never leave the hood, they coming to that. They want to see the god. They want to see rock him. Yeah. It all depends on who's gonna be performing. If you got safe guy, then you know. If you got some fucking street niggas coming in, the insurance gonna go up everything. Yeah, that's for sure. They, they still gonna book them because motherfuckers gonna make that money. I think about the tunnel back in the day. Oh God. The tunnel. Every time it was on, there was something going down. Some there was always beef at the tunnel all the time. Tell me about it, man. It's like Long Island Club. You know, in Long Island, you know, we don't got too many hip-hop clubs. But when there, when there was an event going down, you have people from all over the island going to that event. And, you know, that night, you know, shit going to pop off. Shit going to pop off all the time. I know niggas time. still in jail from the 90s, man, from fucking around at the clubs. <laughs> it up. Definitely. You know, they, okay. they go to their car, they come back, they lighting that whole, and if you outside, they lighting that whole shit up. I remember going to one club out here, I think, uh, damn, who was there? It might have been a dipset. It might have been a dipset artist that was there. Oh, they bringing out right everybody. Outside, right outside, you know, guy got hit. Boom. Shot him. Dead. Right there. Boom. Front of the club. Dead. Boom. It's dip shit. Them niggas blood. Them niggas bringing the gangs. Yeah, it was deep in there. It was deep. Yeah, it depends on the type of music because... With certain vibes, you're not gonna really get that. But it's just like like Paul was saying, if they bring aggressive energy or they bring aggressive music to the dance, there's a high chance of possibility that can go down. I, I mean, it any- don't matter. If it, no, it don't matter because the liquor, the liquor is liquor. Liquor is liquor. You know, you could step on my sneakers and it's gonna go down. But what's crazy is that you can have the ill wild YouTube rock kid. parties. They be moss pitting and everything, fighting, wilding in the clubs. Nobody gets shot after that. Nobody fighting outside. <laughs> nah, cause they they want to get punched. They want to get punched. They in there to get punched. Like yo, I got this at this at this moss pit. Look at my black eye. I can't even open my eye. You know, like they they. In, they inviting to get punched. Yo, punch me. They throwing elbows. You you ask for that shit. By you stepping into that monster pit, you asking for that shit. Yeah, I seen niggas just swinging crazy. You standing over there, this guy swinging crazy, getting closer and closer to you. Listen, man. 
I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> Word up. Word. That's like don't be a menace when he came into the house and they did that whole baby boy scene over or whatever <laughs> scene and he just punching yeah, everybody. Yeah. Wow, he had to punch the kids. Like that's what a mosh pit is like too. You, don't 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 fall in one of those because you you'll get stomped. You get stomped the fuck out, yeah, because and you can't blame nobody because it's a mosh pit. You, you, this is expected. This shit is expected. Yeah, yeah, just don't call your hands out there. there. That's a different, it's a different mentality because black folks when they when we go out, we, we ain't going trying to get hurt. We ain't trying to, we trying to look fresh. We trying to look fly. We ain't trying to get no confrontation. White with the white boys. Shit, it's all confrontation. They aim for it. They ready for it. Nah, but they have fun yeah. on on in the mosh pit. That shit don't trickle up outside. The niggas is fighting and somebody gets shot and all that. <laughs> yeah, nah, it, don't, it doesn't leave the mosh pit. It don't leave the mosh, no, don't leave the mosh pit. That's for sure. Yeah, they go the hip hop shit. The on. show might not even start. Somebody might get shot before the show even fucking start. Fucking hip hop. It's definitely crazy out there. It is definitely crazy. Hip hop shows, and not just saying that hip hop, you know, I've been to some really good hip hop shows where the music was banging and ain't nothing happened. But, oh, yeah, you know, plenty, 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 plenty of underground, real hip hop shows, none of that's going down. This shit is going down now. Cause there's a lot of gang shit involved, you know. You no know, niggas is meeting up at the club and getting it on. Yeah. Back in the days, was, niggas was getting robbed for the gazelles, and they, that was probably the most there. It wasn't niggas gonna just shoot you. You get robbed, but. <laughs> The game just gonna fucking shoot you at. Yeah, definitely uh different time. Now they looking to come and shoot somebody in the club, you know? Before it's just, you know I'm coming but somebody fuck with me, you know, I'm gonna let him have it, but they they looking to see the problem at the club. Like how you getting dressed to go to the club and be like, All right, got my cat so you already expect some bullshit. <laughs> the gat is part of the dress code. Like, gotta have your gat. If you gotta have a gun to go to the club, you shouldn't be going to that fucking club. That's the best dress right there. Stay your ass at home. Yeah, it should be I a mean, money experience, not a Vietnam party? experience. I mean, you need a gun to party, like... keep that shit in the car or whatever, but... You out there stunting because you got the gat. You know, niggas don't act regular when they got the gat. Niggas is extra when they got the gat. Some niggas is cool and calm. You never know they got it. But them, all them rah rah niggas. Yeah, that's true. Definitely true, but you know me. I, I'm you know. I grew up in the '90s, so. Having something in your in your sneaker or whatever the fuck that shit was a must, you know. And not that you're looking for anything, but people be looking for shit, you know. All the time. All the time. And you got like the school niggas, even, you know. You got niggas out there on defense and offense. You know. I'm with the I'm with the defense. You're going out there and hang out. You defend yourself. So you got your thing on you, all right. But if you're out there on offense, trying to score, you know, that's something else. You never know what niggas oh. is up to, my man. Niggas go to the club and go shopping. Go to the club. Oh, that nigga got on the... Oh, I need them Jordans. Oh, I need that chain. Oh, I need that sheepskin. Or that leather jacket. People don't take clothes no more. Niggas was taking niggas' clothes back in the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Niggas ain't getting their clothes and their sneakers ripped off their feet no more. 
I mean, cause I guess that's some bum ass shit now. He stole his sneakers. Don't get it twisted. You pop with the new it. Ill Jordans, niggas will take them shit. Yeah, if you come out with them, them Jordans that they be saying be like three grand and shit like that, yeah, they yeah, they, they they definitely going to flip you upside down for them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, if you got some not, exclusive three thousand dollars pair of Jordans, you definitely get flipped upside down for those things. <laughs> That's you get sure. flipped upside down for Adidas, your fresh pair of Adidas, and them shit ain't cost no more than about hundred dollars back in the day, hundred something now. Uh, Shell top Adidas, them shit was like fifty nine ninety nine, man. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how much them shit cost. The shell top Adidas back in the day, they was they was under hundred, they was under eighty dollars, you know. Not after running them, got done with them niggas been running them. Did my yeah, even uh, Adidas. They, yeah, even when that time, that's when the price went when up. Running them. Nah, they, you know, the Adidas shell top stood the same for a while. It was under a hundred dollars, under eighty dollars shell top Adidas. Niggas was taking sure. those, niggas was taking niggas gazelles. These days, all these fucking chains these niggas got, all these fucking million dollar chains these niggas got on their neck. Niggas ain't getting yap no more, huh? That's for sure. It's going out there in the sports world, Obama. Sports? KD you know. still ain't get traded yet after 50 days of when he said he wanted to be traded. He thought he's going to be traded. He ain't traded yet. I mean, he's looking to um, he's looking to leave. You know, he wants to. He wants out. He wants out, but you know they look they they hoping he's hoping to go to the Celtics. You know that's where he wants to go. I believe, but ain't ain't nothing he finalized really go back yet. To the state. But he gonna look like a bitch. He go back to Golden State. <laughs> and you know LeBron, you know he got that two year extension, ninety seven point one million. You know, stay with the Lakers another two years. They also saying, um, I think Melo might be going to the Celtics too as a free agent. I want to see where Melo end up though. I mean, Melo can help the team, man. They just got to use them right. They just use them. Yeah, I just hope he's a point of guy now instead of the inside. He I, I hope he could retire with a chip, you know? At least I one chip, man. I want to get a chip, man. Chris Paul. I want to see fucking Melo get one. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of niggas got... Slick sneaky rings on niggas, man. <laughs> like, like fuck it. I know Melo mad at fuck it. What's done to them? They ain't never rock with LeBron. He was down with them niggas. Shumpert oh, and Smith. Smith and yeah, Shumpert. Yeah, Smith got sneaky ring fucking with LeBron. Shumpert got him his top sneaky ring. Yeah, I think I think he was on. Wasn't he on the Lakers when the Lakers won that chip too? Who? Smith. Yeah, on the Lakers? Wasn't he on the Lakers? With... Hell no. I, I don't think that nigga, that nigga never wore a Lakers there. jersey. I don't think J.R. Yeah. Smith ever wore a Lakers jersey. I think he did. I think he did. But you know... uh Preseason football done started. You know, a couple games was today. The Broncos and the Bills went at it today. You know, the Bills took that. You know, the Colts and the Lions today. That was a close one. They was 26, 27 to 26. The Lions took that. Tom Terrific ain't played yet, did he? I don't think he playing in preseason. Um, 
I don't know, but there's still a couple games going on right now. You got 49ers and the Vikings, the Steelers and the Jags. You got the Raiders and the Dolphins. You Where got the Odell Beckham and... go, man? Odell is still in L.A.? No, nah, I think he was supposed to go somewhere else, Odell Beckham. I just don't know exactly where he went, but the Buccaneers is playing the Titans right now, but I don't know if uh, Tom Brady's out there on the... I don't know if he's out there playing, but they losing right now, 13-3. to No, nah, Tom ain't out there. Nah, they going to hold him off for the Rebels. <clears throat> USC fighting tonight, too. Somebody fucking gonna get the shit beat out of them out of those two guys. Those two monsters. They doing it. No, we ain't gonna talk about no baseball. <laughs> what are we gonna talk about? You really gonna talk about baseball? Uh, no, right, no, Yankees no. Is, uh, the Yankees doing bad. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Yankees doing bad. <laughs> You laughing about that so shit, So it's the right? Mets, man. So it's the fucking Mets. The niggas are doodle too. Yeah. Right now. But who's doing damage, man? You said, uh, who's doing damage in L- baseball? L.A. L.A. Mm. Dodgers. The L.A. Dodgers. The niggas is. Yeah, nah. Uh, A.R. Smith was on um, the Lakers. Bird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for one year. For one year. So he got so he got two fucking rounds. Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. I know that's fucking mellow up, yo. JR going out with two way. Mellow ain't got one. Shit. I think Shumper got two. Nah, Shumper got one, right? Yeah, Shumper got one. They just you know the funny thing with Shumper is uh I saw he just got arrested. In Texas for having uh, weed in his book bag. Oh man! Niggas thought they was in yeah. the city. I mean, he probably thought that everywhere. No, you can't yeah, be that stupid. J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith got you know two rings. Everywhere, you know that shit ain't legal. Every fucking where, J.R. Yeah, Damn, how he get, how he get certain, like what they what they just pulled him over or something? Nah, he probably you know, getting on the plane or getting off the plane or probably getting on the plane. Probably checked his bag and he probably smelled and they opened it up and ta da You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you're an asshole. Yeah, you that, got money like that, leave that shit where that shit is at, wherever you land, you know you can get it again. Leave that like shit there. Yeah, like six ounces fool. on him. You're a fucking fool. Niggas like that, I don't be feeling sorry for, man. You're a fucking fool, yo. You know you had that shit on. You tried to get on that fucking plane in Texas with that shit. <laughs> You're a fucking fool, yo. That's how they feel in Texas. For real. You could have left that shit right there in Texas. And wherever you was going... You lay, you land, make that call. You know you can get it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. But J.R. Smith got two rings. He won one in 2016, and he won one in 2020. One with Cleveland, one with the Lakers. Oh, man. So he was, I mean, in, he he was on the Lakers during, tribute to life. during the bubble. Yeah, during the bubble, when they did the bubble. Oh, see? He got a sneaky ring on niggas, too. He got two sneaky rings on Melo. You know Melo's like, nah, I need one. I mean, but you know where I think Melo would do good at, man? I think he would do good with Chris Paul, man. I honestly think that he could he could go to Phoenix and do something over there. He needs Definitely, some, man. He needs a team with a job from a rent type nigga on there, man. See how John Morant, that nigga's jumping out the gym. Yeah, I mean, but Booker, you know, Booker's 
Booker, right? That's his name on on, on the Phoenix. I think he's, yeah, but he's, I short, think he's a good he's player. Short, dude. You gotta play Booker. amongst the trees. I'm just mad that they that Aiden want want to out of Phoenix. I don't know what's wrong with KD. Damn, who, Why he went out of Brooklyn? They gave that nigga everything he wanted. He still wanted to. Damn, who's taking a piss? You taking a piss? E? You taking a piss? Nah, I'm in the <laughs> quiet room. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you doodling? I'm in the quiet room. Doodle it? <laughs> oh, me. Ah, <laughs> oh, <they> me. <laughs> oh, man. Wait. Doodle it? But you know, but you know, but you know, check this though, y'all. What we can do is uh, we gonna hit him with some music. Cause you know we chopped it up a lot. We wanna hit him with some uh, the locks, the Terminator locks. Hit him with a couple joints. Then we come back. Chop the shoes. Nah, we do. And nah, I ain't taking no shit. I'm in the dark room. Uh, you doodling. You doodling. <laughs> Hell no. So, yeah, Let's we go. Back with Radio 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 Live in the Matrix. Saturday night. Let's go. Benji Fields was popping. Popping. I stay with that big block, I put him in Ziploc He put him on TikTok, what happened to hip-hop? The dope-ass MC, the DJ Big Craze I first heard Double Dutch bust on them little eights Mr. Magic playing, turn it down, it's too late Chuck D and Cool J, the era was so great Put enough flashback to this dope-ass rap Right now my foot is on these little niggas' back I click-clack the iron Whoever out there dying Spin back, shoot whoever out there crying Give me Lord, the drug dealers ain't teach me nothing I had to learn, I seen niggas get killed for fun now I'm outside your Airbnb From the era when they were scared to rhyme at D&D Them niggas better stop Y'all know about D-Block Funny ass dances, nigga, all we have was the walk Maybe running man, but I was tired for that Crack rocks, nigga, black tops and ratchets Oh, that's my little homie sister, she can catch it Head crack, what's in your bank, I'ma match it yeah. yeah, don't let these niggas throw you off like you supposed to die for them or go up north. Never. When a nigga that you following is extra sore, extra. take his gun and smack him if he fucking I cold. with the F in, I teach you a lesson. It's not my fault, I'm greater than you lessen. Too much hate is why you missing your blessings. Like my chances with any contestants. Lower your tone now, cause we all grown now. That bid you did don't mean nothing, you home now. That just mean you can catch two in your dome now. Really, I was going home party alone now. You ain't make it. You got no talent, so use your rights and just remain silent. Save the tough talk, cause you ain't valent. You just on drugs, you ain't wildin'. When they knock your teeth out, you ain't smiling. I pay taxes, and you ain't fallin'. I'm still hungry, my stomach is growling. And the fangs is out, that mean my niggas is howling. Hate suspected, we already seen love. You mad, we really getting the money you dreamed of. 33 and a third, everything between us. You seen loyalty every time you seen us. Boy's a genius, get off my penis. Before you force me to send the cleaners What I am is my brother's keeper And what do kill you will make you weaker Fuck boy What up boy, keep mine I'ma hit him twice, he think I throw him the peace sign Double tap if the bubble wrap If they cook enough, then it's coming back Hit him with an axe like a lumberjack Timber Lands with the 38 in them for niggas that think they ninjas Ball like Zeke in the final when I'm injured Gangsta, hate him when Sam fell for ginger Dope boy, I'ma be gone till November Come back in the new drop Ball in a suit like the NBA two spot What you really tryna do, I? I'm the top boy, what you need a little food, I? You should know I'm the gold standard Fuck with the homeboy, the black ghost lander Niggas better than ghost nine, they so random Niggas harder than ghost not with no cannon I ain't need the ball bounce, but I need the bars bounce Starting on the corner with a hard ounce I ain't trying to play the yard for the yard count Rather be on the island whipping the car around Niggas is mad, black of the tar now But cut your bullet hole off, gone now Go, go
Now everything makes sense. N E M S F. Pass me a torch, hole punch. Gonna light one up like gentlemen. Put my ashes out on these bitch motherfuckers. Lifers. Yeah. Hold your own, homie. Hold your Hold weight. Your weight stupid. Fuck with broken home. Get a broken face. Pop. Straight to the dome. We be flowing eight. Yeah, that's my man. But I know we hate. Fuck it. That just comes with the game. Yup. My shorty dumb as shit, but I'm in love with her frame. Bad. She in love with the jewelry. She in love with the fame. I told her, keep backing up. I'll send you back where you came. Ah. I turned into who I'm supposed to be supposed to And be. I won't let no fuck boys even get close to me Never I bag women like you bag groceries You see me say to our fathers and grab your rosary Amen Then take a step to the rear yep. I keep winning cause my life is disconnected from fear Fact. I only gave them eight balls cause the check didn't clear Wrote the verse in five minutes That's the highlight of your career Yeah Fucking bozo your life. Yo, after this, man, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Fucking hit up a lounge or some shit like fucking gentlemen. Get out at 4 a.m. and smack the shit out your father. F your life with no rubber, this song's a throat cutter I've been known to take a boat to the southern coast just to soak my toes in warm water With Epsom salt, Delta Epsilon, the Echelon I'm on is more like playing chess and catch some more for sketches on Before I'm off, I kiss my mama and get a blessing for the next assault We on from when we set it off until the end of song One wrong move, you in the elevator slump like Prince Then wipe the evidence and toss it in the dump, no print I rap like taking a schwitz with a bad waitress You rap like Taking a sit in the gas station You sit like Ted dancing in blackface My shit is like the gadget found in Bruce Wayne's bat cave Smack lanes with the batarang Grab a gang of scallywags and smash them with the tallywag I have them thinking marriage, carriage what? rides Being grandparents, thanking their ancestors F, nigga Anybody with animosity, animosity. 
is not to be trust and handle it properly. properly. When the grass get green and wash the weeds of deception, grow with the plots and schemes. Stay up, it's the opposite of rock to sleep. Make your own bed, don't let nobody stop your dream. Especially when you know you got mouths to feed. It's essential to question who's really with you Unconditionally, not only what's beneficial The devil was an angel His attentions got him removed from paradise Views conflicted It's essential to question who's really with you Unconditionally, not only what's beneficial The devil was an angel His attentions got him removed from paradise Views conflicted Fit for the war, get yeah, I'm fit for the war. Fully automatic, stick the clip in the floor. When I start spraying, tell that bitch hit the floor. Yeah, everybody get their head split from the door. Yeah, yeah. I still ride around in them grips and them grips. I still ride around in them grips. Come get I still ride around in them grippy. Chopping in the whip and hold a buck fit. Huh? Wake up in the morning, all I smell is gunpowder. Got up out the bed, pull the grip from my trousers. Searching for the answers like an internet browser. Nigga move wrong, he catch a shell like Bowser. Wowzers, spaghetti head niggas, man, we ground beef. Em. In my hood, we bang, bang, man, we chief keep em. We buy foreign straight cash, now we don't lease them. My homies did 20 years, wait till they release them. Fresh out the can, and he caught a head tap. He don't care, he don't even want his bread back. He fit for the war, yeah, nigga, I said that. Cannon to your forehead, push your whole head back. When the clip draw, nigga, this shit pull Hole in you, exit room out the door, the six four. This wall, what you think I'm riding with the clips for? This whole chopper the pieces, man, get the jigsaw I'm fit for the war, yeah, I'm fit for the war Fully automatic, stick the clip in the floor When I start spraying, tell that bitch hit the floor yeah, yeah. Everybody get their head split from the door, yeah, yeah I still ride around in the grip, in the grip I still ride around in the grip, come get me you know we stay litty yeah. Nigga try to swing and call the buck 50 Blah. We get money now, you need to fuck with me uh-huh. Did it by myself and took a few cities yeah, Ain't no other place in this world like New Guinea Yo. I am three for life, me Gio and Ty Nitty Blah. It's a rap for your rappers that sound shitty uh-huh. Chop in the trunk, it hold around 50 Blah. Blah. Been gone for a minute, I know you miss me Coke so raw and leave your pants pissy right I hate to cut your flow, but fiends, they fuck with me yeah. You got locked and came home, something is really fishy I don't, I don't worry about shit, I get busy yeah. Head stop, you can't breathe, you know the dilly blah, blah. I still roll dusty beneath Philly yeah. Queen Chris killers, you know we get illy I'm fit for the war, yeah, I'm fit for the war Fully automatic, stick the clip in the floor When I start spraying, tell that bitch hit the floor yeah, yeah. Everybody get their head split from the door yeah, yeah. I still ride around in them grip, in them grip. I still ride around in them grip, come get me. I still ride around in them grippy Chopping in the whip and hold a buck fifty, nigga What the deal? Oh, yeah. What the deal? Straight fire, Scoobo Radio. Hitting them niggas with that fire all day, man. Shout out to my nigga called Mega. Montana season. He doing his thing again, kid. That's some fire right there from the guard. Yeah, he definitely got some heat. That's the guy from Heat that's smart. produced by Havoc. Yeah, that's produced by Havoc. The next joint is um, Nice and Etho. Etho produced that record. But that dude Nice used to run with Prodigy. Got Big Twin on that record. Dope. This shit's cracking. It's a lot of crack out lock. there, man. Still yeah, that new lock shit. Way too music. And I want to 
share this piece of news to you guys before you know we close out. Wait, they, before, they before we, go, now, we say any, hold up, hold up. Before we say anything, this is for the listeners out there, man. New York been dropping fire, man. If you listen to all them records we just played, man, that's straight New York, man. So stop listening to that other shit. The other shit is cool, but New York, we still the mecca of this shit, and we still giving y'all heat, man. We still dropping that heat. Nothing but heat, bar. Tell them about me. Yeah, for sure. You know, no no hate to, to no other state. You know, y'all keep doing what y'all doing, but don't forget, Right here, we started that shit. That's why I should be gutter like that. Like you can't be, you can't duplicate this shit. Just like you can't duplicate the funk from the West Coast, that can't be duplicated. You know, in New York, we we spit that grimy, gritty shit, that real shit, that reality rap, and it can't be duplicated. All the time, we got that shit on deck. Yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. And- before we leave, that just goes to show you that everybody, I'm thinking from this modern era, is going back to actually appreciating the older music because they said that 70% of the music now is represented by old music. It's getting the most play now. We talk about from the classics on the, on every genre, like all that, from hip-hop, R&B, pop, mostly older music the, the uh, new generation is embracing now. Well, shit, let us get it, let's get it popping. You know, we're going to keep it. Yeah, listen, every, yeah, everything come back 360 degrees, man. It's going to take a while for the earth to spin, but it's always going to come back to the real, man. You know, no matter how much music has been played, no matter how much music has been dropped, people still listen to the real shit. They still, they still end up coming back to the real shit. You, you can't not play... Uh, you cannot play Black Poet and DJ Premier. Like, you going back to the Black Prince. You going back to the schoolboy shit. You going back to infamous shit. You know, rest in peace, Prodigy. They still bumping prodigies to this day. Like, you know, it's just, you know, radio, radio just makes it so you could check out all of this. But after a while, all that shit they playing is doodle. That shit is doodle. And you're going to want to go back to find out the real, what's the real. And and guess what? You're going to come back, and you're going to be right here in New York in the five boroughs again where we birthed this shit. You know? Straight up, straight up. No doubt, man. And no doubt, that's a fact. And, you know, we want to end this with a banger here, man. We want to end it with Joe Joint Comet from that Authentic Cloth. Which I shared the other day. Oh, nah, 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 nah. That, that's, that's not on Authentic Cloth, man. Pay attention, man. That's a hot single right now produced by Tone Split. And it's just a single out there right now. Y'all can go stream it up. Go do, do what y'all do, man. Just support that real shit. And it's called Premium Edition, produced by Tone Split, you know? Uh, that's that fire right there, too. Yeah, it ain't it ain't on authentic cloth. Authentic cloth, you know. Shout out DJ Swab. DJ Swab produced the whole authentic cloth. You know, there's just a, there's a Lucy for y'all for y'all smokers out there. And go, <laughs> go, go puff that shit up, man. That's some a loud pack right on, there. Some, some for them yeah. smoke on there. Yeah, that's that's that. You know, that's that purple fire right there. Just go burn that gas up and. And hit me back and tell me how y'all like that work. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it do, yeah. man. Screwball Radio, man. Live from the Matrix, nigga. Already, already. already. On week. that note, we out of here. We'll catch y'all the same same time, same screw channel, next Saturday night. Let's go. Let's go, mm-hmm. man. It's the Vandal, motherfucker. Yeah. Kingsbridge. Uh. What up? BX shit. Tone split. Uh. Street fun.
of the mental's are essential for survival. Streets are prime, suckers feel entitled. Shorty, I'm trying to entice you, pipe you down, sit fine, wine with you. Pistol in your pocketbook. Crooks and cats who sun got hit in the clavicle. Roam streets like wild animals, protect all that valuable. For the capital, sick and radical. Thug motion, sip thug potion. Smoking something potent, leave rodents floating. Face wrapped in turban, whipping black suburban. Rule like the iron curtain. My screws who hand at the moon. Dr. Von Doom, violence we consume. Clowns with costumes. Click, 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 boom. Clear the room. Blowing gas, smell of fumes. From the womb to the tomb. One love to the goons. Yeah. Shit that I witnessed, corrupted environment, ain't have a pot to piss in. Pistol gripping, riddles written, crimes committed. Watching for the opposition, sitting on the block pitching. We had this shit clicking, witness, man, listen. God is my witness, my mindset was twisted. Hustle will suffer, only way to get up out the gutter. Hot peas and butter, watching for undercovers. I'm trying to do numbers, get up out my slumber. Bulldog handle coated with rubber. Color peanut butter, watching over my shoulder. Gotta watch for vultures, range like Rover. Alpine pull over, mind of a soldier. Can't let the hood pull me under. Plotting on the come up, sun down the sun up. Tree eight or that four pounder, scheming on some out of town. Criminal lifestyle is real. Stand up to my boy, get laid. We feel different. I'm a premium magician, I'm ill. You know, you know, you know, the rest of the make that criminal lifestyle is real. Stand up to my boy, get laid. You feel different. I'm a premium magician.